Schools are becoming more and more strict about what's allowed on campus. They don't want feelings to get hurt and they don't want to get sued. From the type of food sold at the cafeterias to games such as dodgeball, here are a few weird things that have been banned at schools. Hey guys, this is American Eye today. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy that video. But first, thanks Judy Liner for leaving us this comment. It's never too late to learn new things, and we're glad you found our channel. Let us know what you think is the craziest thing banned at schools, and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 15, Dodgeball. You might remember playing a game known as Dodgeball growing up, and still do on occasions. We all know it can get slightly aggressive, but that's just part of the fun, right? It could have been your favorite game in PE if you could sling the ball quickly and avoid getting hit in the face. If you did get hit, you shake it off and get back in there later on. The foam ball used to play never really hurt that much anyways. Diane Farr, a curriculum expert in Texas, went the next step and decided to speak out about the classic PE sport. It's been banned in schools across North America, blaming fights and encouraging violent actions as justification. Number 14, Skinny Jeans. We all know some ladies out there might be able to rock those skinny jeans pretty well. But some feel as though they have no place in schools. Guys wearing skinny jeans should have been banned a long time ago. Among some of the most popular fashion items, skinny jeans have earned a reputation as being slightly scandalous and probably distracting for teenage boys seeing the curves of their classmates. New Hanover School Board in North Carolina put a ban on the skinny jeans once and for all in May of 2016, much to the disappointment of many. Number 13, Milk. A lot of us probably remember drinking milk growing up with people telling us it's good for our bones and will help us grow. Well, it's not allowed in schools at some places. The LA Unified School District enacted a ban on chocolate milk and San Francisco followed the trend. They felt as though it was time to lessen the amount of animal products being served to kids and that chocolate milk was far too sugary for them. Just regular milk wasn't drink enough to consider the health benefits of keeping the dairy product, so it all just got banned. Number 12, soda. Packed full of high fructose corn syrup and not healthy stuff, the school doesn't want to get in trouble for your kid getting diabetes. Health officials are hoping to eliminate the sales of ridiculously sweet drinks, but the ban hasn't worked out all that great. While the health officials can certainly restrict the number of vending machines placed at the schools, there's not much they can do if the kid buys a sugary drink and brings it to school. Studies show that it seemed to happen quite often, and then it becomes a slippery slope of control. Do you guys think that soda should be banned from school? Let us know in the comments section your thoughts and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 11, Evolution. We're aware of evolution being a controversial topic that many people don't want to talk about, but it hasn't gone completely banned in the US. There's another country out there where it's completely banned. In Turkey, all teachers were ordered to stop teaching it forever in August of 2017. Turkish President Erdogan prefers a non-secular approach to human development, and some have actually planned to leave Turkey for these new changes. Evolution was also completely banned in different states across the U.S. at one point, and many teachers feel as though they need to fight for it or will end up like Turkey and ban theories. Number 10. Sandwiches? For some reason, a principal in Portland, Oregon wanted to ban sandwiches for actually being racist. What's even stupider is that it was reported on live television from a news station. While it might not take too much to get called racist these days, it's quite astonishing that someone would look at a sandwich and think, wow, that represents white privilege. What do you think on this declaration? Number 9. Bras it's a touchy subject for schools, but they all know too well how a bra has been used as a cheating device and a sneaky place to put cheat notes. So some places have taken other measures to prevent cheating, such as banning bras altogether. Places like in China and India revised their standard school outfits to deal with the epidemic. You have to wonder how well they did on the test when stress code was strictly enforced. Girls from India have been asked to remove their bras before taking tests. As crazy as it might sound, this can prevent a lot of cheating. Number 8. Red ink. Everyone gets so offended so easily these days. It's gotten so bad that people are actually offended by red ink, so it was banned. Some schools in the UK forbid their teachers to make corrections on their students' paper with red ink because they found that red ink was a threatening color and it's very negative. Teachers were asked to use blue or black ink, which are considered to be emotionally neutral. They also felt as though positive comments should be left on every paper, no matter how bad it truly was. In the real world where people work, no boss is going to care if they hurt your feelings based on the pen they use, so toughen up. 
Number 7. Flaming Hot Cheetos We discussed in previous videos how Doritos were made with possibly addictive ingredients, which make them tough to stop eating. The same can be said about Cheetos, which are basically a different form of Doritos if you look at the ingredients. In any case, Flaming Hot Cheetos were spreading like wildfire across schools, and it was becoming an epidemic. Flaming Hot seasoning would show up all over kids' fingers and eventually get on the tests, homework, etc. The schools finally banned kids from eating the spicy, artificially flavored corn puffs, and you won't find them for sale on schools. Maybe the teachers were feeling threatened from the red seasoning? Who knows? Number 6. Books You would expect any teacher out there to be very happy to find out that their student reads books in their spare time. But not all books will do, apparently. There is a large list of banned books your teachers don't want you to read, and some of them may surprise you. Things that might be too explicit, have some swear words, or just stuff kids probably aren't ready to learn is all banned. Even The Diary of Anne Frank was banned in Alabama, much to the surprise of many. The Lorax by Dr. Seuss was criticized for its deforestation plotline, Harry Potter was banned from Christian schools, and Where's Waldo was banned when one of the tiny cartoons was sunbathing topless. Even works of Mark Twain have been banned for discussing slavery too detailed. So if you really want to rebel against your teacher, be sure to give those books a good read. Number 5. Bake Sales The school boards across the country have seemingly declared war on any food that's high in sugar and want to strictly control what people are eating. Bake sales at schools are often a way to bring in money for various sports activities, which can maybe help them shed those pounds from eating too many cupcakes. The New York City Education Department says no, and bake sales were banned. Maybe the schools just want you to eat their food so they can make more money? Some schools have gone as far as banning lunches that have been packed at home. Students with a special medical card are the only ones who can bring in their lunch. Number 4. Self-Defense You think you have the right to defend yourself at school? Think again. The bully and the bullied person will both get sent to the principal's office in the case of self-defense. It's hard to really prove who started it sometimes, but even in clear cases, the staff has no choice but to punish both parties. So basically what this rule is saying is that the person being bullied should just have to sit there and take it without fighting back. Doesn't matter if your life was on the line or if you were getting some really bad wedgies, too bad. Bullying has been a very serious issue across North America and the rules don't seem to be making it any easier. Number 3. Fast Food Restaurants on a list that was once reserved for tobacco shops and sleazy clubs, fast food restaurants can no longer be within a certain vicinity of schools in the city of London. It's not just McDonald's, but all of them. They seriously don't want kids getting fat despite there being some healthy options on their menus. It's almost like McDonald's was putting brass knuckles in their Happy Meals or something. Anyways, the schools have been pointing their fingers at the suppliers of food kids are able to get instead of putting more effort into teaching the kids how to make healthy lifestyle choices. This trend is likely to continue into other cities who feel as though they're progressive. It might make getting a burger after school a little bit more difficult. Number 2. Anything relating to guns Schools have taken some events very seriously and anything related to guns is completely banned. They don't want kids getting any ideas at this point. Take this ruler for example. The exact purpose of this ruler is unknown, but you can clearly tell it's not a firearm. However, you definitely won't be seeing anyone using this and it won't get past the teacher. If you think about it, it's really just a ruler with a handle. An 8-year-old once had a Lego officer with a little Lego gun, and he got in serious trouble for it. Nerf guns or whatever is strictly banned with no exceptions. And number 1. Valedictorians You studied hard all year. You skipped out on parties with your friends to go study. You spent your lunch hours in the library, and you aced all your tests. Now you have the best grades in the school and should be getting valedictorian, right? Not always the case if you live in North Carolina. One school banned the practice of valedictorians, saying that it was a pointless competition because kids were taking classes for the sole purpose of raising their GPA. Maybe it was just setting bad expectations for kids always trying to be the best. 